I know also you made a movie uh, about your touring around the world and the concerts and, and all these things. Uh, what are your thoughts behind that? Why are you making a movie? I mean, it just goes along with exactly what we've been saying, you know, and, and we um, we never really planned any of this. I think when we were, when I was young, I never expected to be doing this yeah. at all. And um, and we found ourselves traveling all around the world. And, and it didn't matter where we go, you know, we'd go to South America and there's thousands and thousands of young followers of Christ. And we'd, we'd go to, come up here to Europe and thousands of young people. Every, and we're just going, man, we are a part of this incredible movement called the Body of Christ. But... Um, but what's the point unless we're actually making a difference in our world? What's the point unless we're, you know, really kind of um, physically meeting the needs of humanity? And so that's where the film came from. And I felt like it was, it was we had to tell the other side of the story because uh, we've always been about using what's in our hand. What's in our hand has been instruments and music. And so we've made music that glorifies God. That's the one thing that we've done, you know. And I think there's real power to the idea of Christians everywhere just using what's in their hand, you know, whether it's a video camera or a notebook or a piece of paper or it's media or if it's, you know, a, you know, a football or whatever it is, using the thing you're passionate about, the gift that God's given you to glorify God, but to glorify God by living our lives for other people. And that's, that's the essence of the film, the power of the church, what the church is as opposed to what we've made it, you know, and, and what... Um, what the message of Jesus is as opposed to what we've made it, you know, and I think uh, it's, it's simple, it's about loving God, it's about loving people, it's about loving life and, uh, and seeing, um, seeing us all work together to play our little part to, uh, to, to build God's kingdom. When you're not on tour, you're back of course in, in Australia, how, how does your uh, a normal week look like? Like, are you, um, do you have jobs besides playing in the band? Or? Yeah, well, I, um, I work with my dad. He's a property developer, so like, I'm pretty fortunate that when I'm not working with him, I'm, I'm allowed, you know, able to tour and stuff like that. So for me, I, you know, when I can, I'm working for him. Right at the moment, we're doing an album, so it's been pretty, pretty busy with that. Like most days in the studio and surf a lot and hang out with my girlfriend and you know, just have fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we're, we're really involved with the church at home, so each of us got responsibilities. Dylan's pretty involved on weekends as well, so, um, so you know, it's it's a busy life, you know, and, and we, we the only reason we come away and do this stuff is because home is strong, is because we've got a great, uh, a great community at home that are, like, making sure that home is good. And, yeah, but we like to surf and we like to, you know, go to the footy and just do all the normal stuff. It's good. Yeah, I know you said you're working now on the, a, a new uh, album. When is it uh, going to come out? Well, um, yeah, the, the, the album we're working on at the moment won't come out until early next year. Okay. That's just quite a while away, but we need the time because we want it to be great. So, you know, we've been working really hard on this project. I'm really excited about it. But there's an album that we also just did um, with our church, Hillsong Live album. It's called A Beautiful Exchange, and that comes out in July. All around the world, so we're really excited about that album too. I noticed on the albums, there's not a lot of um, faces. Uh, yeah. Is there a reason for that? That <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of anonymous. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we've always kind of, you know, what we. I don't feel like what we do is about any group of individuals. And one of the things we've always said about our church and who we are, even as United, is, is it's not built on the gifts and talents of a few, but it's built on uh, the sacrifices of of the many, of everybody, and, and I love that. And so it always feels awkward for me. Even when we do these worship nights, I feel like what is being communicated is not, you know, his ability on the guitar and my ability to sing or write songs. It's it's the heartbeat of our whole community, all the people that are, we're involved with in our church. And, and so, you know, with the album covers, I don't feel like it's a band that we need to be communicating. You know, I don't want to be saying this is about me or it's about Dylan or it's about all of us guys. It's about all of us it's about you guys it's about the people we're going to be with tonight it's it's about us united and so you know the album covers are always about a bigger message than individuals it's about who we are together as uh, as the church unified yeah so it's not like about the band it's more about the worship or the yeah. the unity yeah yeah so also in the band like how i heard there's a lot of exchange that it's not only the same people but there's a lot of exchange in the band like is there any requirements to to join the band how does it all work 
How, how did you uh, answer the band? Well, like Joel said before, we kind of all just grew up in church and like never would imagine that this is what would be a part of back then when we just started out. So, I mean, there's not really... You don't have to tick any boxes to get in the band. It's just being a part of church, being a part of youth, and God, I guess God does the rest. You know, he opens the right doors and stuff like that in a, in a, in a way. But um, like we're very collective in what we do, and there's so many guys back home you know, that are doing what we do when we're not home, you know, and like when we're home we're involved as well, but um, like, yeah, it kind of just changes every 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 few tours, there's a different crew and kind of some guys can make it and some guys can't, so it's just, yeah, it's very inclusive and kind of everyone's involved. I, I know you've been in Denmark once before, uh, in 2007, I don't know if you both been there, uh, I was here. Only, okay, what was your uh, experience from that time? Yeah, it was a it was a really great night. You know, I think because it was the first time we've been here, you just don't know if anybody's going to come or if anybody's going to know your songs or if you know. So I remember coming to Denmark. You know, what are we doing here? We were in Copenhagen. I was thinking, what are we doing here? Like, who in Copenhagen is going to you know come out? And I remember it was you know it was packed. There was a thousand odd people there, and I just remember everybody singing the songs. And uh, obviously we're singing in English and everybody's singing in English and I'm thinking, I just, I remember going, this is wild, you know, this is so cool to see um, what God is doing and and uh, we've got a lot of friends, you know, from Denmark who are in Australia and so they would always tell us about, you know, you'll love Denmark, it's amazing, you know, you've got to go and check it out. So it, it was it was one of those things, we were here for a day, I think, and I had about four hours to walk around Copenhagen. I remember just walking and I walked across the whole city and I was like, okay, <laughs> and I walked back across. I was like, all right. And, and uh, it was just a very cool city, you know, really kind of gritty and dirty in the best possible way. Like, I like that. And, uh, and you know, I think it's, it's um, there's something about the European culture, especially up here, that it's just... You know, it's progressive, and and um, and you know, when you grow up from Australia, it's like, man, everyone's cool. Like everyone's kind of like, it, it's, it's um, it's just, it's a great place, you know. So uh, uh, tonight, I didn't know, like I don't even know where we are. <laughs> I woke up on the bus, you know, we're here, and so um, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to expect when when Luke told me how many people are coming tonight. I was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. So you know, we're believing that tonight's going to be pretty good. Cool. What are your expectations for tonight? Like, uh, what, do, what do you want to communicate, uh, especially tonight? I guess, um, kind of the same as what we always want to do, just connecting people with Jesus. And, you know, whether it's people are coming that have never been to a church service or whether it's their 50,000th time, in, you know, in a worship meeting. And I guess at the end of the day, we just want to make sure that we, you know, give God a place to where he can move and whether we play... 20 songs or if he wants us to play none you know but we will play songs <laughs> but you know we just want God to move and for people to you know experience him like I said for the first time or the 50th time so if somebody comes tonight and they experience God maybe for the first time and maybe this is all new for them what, what would you encourage them to do what what would be important for them yeah I mean we, we'll talk about we talk about it tonight you know JD or brave people but I mean basically we want people to get connected you know and I think um I think that's that's the beauty of the church. The opportunity we have is community, and uh, and the idea of, of being in relationship. I couldn't do it. I couldn't live uh, this life without my friends and without people who are helping me and guiding me. So, you know, we would um, encourage you know people to kind of find find people who you know they can they can share the journey with that they can be real with. You don't have to be pretend and and uh, and and that you can be honest with and that will encourage you. Um, you know, down down the right track, and um, and the other, you know, I think the ultimate place for that is finding a great church and great, you know, people who, who share, you know, the same kind of faith and share the same ideas and are able to kind of help us along the way. So that's, you know, that's it. And you know, in the meantime, you've got the Word of God and a very personal God, the Holy Spirit, you know, who's with us at all times. And so, um, they're the things we encourage people in. And uh, I, you know, I think hopefully there's going to be a lot of people who who uh, have to ask themselves that question again, you know, what I go for?